Hey guys, hello, my name is Moshe and I'm a Salesforce implementer for almost a year and a half and today I want to talk with you about what's, what's called visual flow or just flow if you prefer. Uh, so lately I hear a lot of questions from my colleagues I'm working with about this tool and I decided to explore it to the bottom. So the major subject I want to talk about today is how to bulkify flow updates and inserts. If you have any of coding background in Salesforce, you probably already know that Salesforce has some limitations which makes us need to code the right way, so we won't encounter them. One of those correct ways to code is the need to bulk DML operations, so we won't encounter any SOQL limitations. This is really nice when we are talking about triggers. But what can we do, we do or how can we bulkify operations inside a flow or a visual flow? I have to say that I worked with the flow tool in various projects in the past and never really actually understand its, pow its powers. But today, after actually doing some cool stuff with it, I decided to post it to the world because when I search for any information, I wasn't been able to find any of this material on the internet. So, what we'll be doing today? I will already make a cool example as you can see and we're going to go over it and hopefully in the end we'll be able to use bulks and flows. So let's start. So basically what we are about to do is we have the flow here we are going to launch it uh, through a custom button I already made. Yeah, so this is the custom button. It found on the opportunity object. Um, I placed it already on each uh, opportunity, as you can see here. This is my button. When I click it, I want uh, all the, the opportunities that match my criteria, yeah, my, my query, uh, to be updated. So, how actually it's going to work. Let's see. So what this flow is actually doing. As you can see I have here a list of uh, all opportunities in this all. So when I click this button update all ops the flow is going to run and it's going to uh, give a country to all the opportunities that match the criteria. Let's see it happen. The flow isn't uh, looking that, uh, that great, but that's okay, because this is not the purpose of this, uh, of this uh, video. So, I launch the, the flow, I click next, and the, the, this screen is showing me that there were 46 records that has been updated, and I have these uh, uh, IDs of all the records up here. We click here, finish. And let's see, I'm refreshing this record, and as you can see, the country is now changed to Chile. Also, the promo code is now 31. Now, let's look at this list. We don't have country or promo code before, but after the flow has run, now all the opportunities that matched the criteria are now uh, with country Chile and the promo code is set. So this is my flow. The first node uh, we actually see is the low screen. As uh, I mentioned before, this screen is uh, empty. Uh, I didn't uh, put anything in here, but that's not uh, that uh, important. And if we can continue, we have this uh, second node, uh, which is a fast lookup. Actually, I want to query all the opportunities that has, uh, that has met this uh, criteria. I want them to be a close date greater than today. Today is the 29th to October uh, and has no uh, country. Country is now two. So, if you don't have country and the close date of the opportunity is greater than today, 
I want these opportunities to go into this variable. So now I have to explain something. This variable is a S object variable. Uh, till now, what I, I've been used to, to use in such flows was the normal variable. Yes, you can see it. This is the normal variable. And I didn't actually know how to use this S object or S object collection variable. Um, and this is what, we, what I'm going to actually show today. So, after query all these opportunities, I want them to go inside this all opportunities, which is a S object collection variable. So, what is a collection? Collection, if you don't know uh, what list is uh, in Apex, collection is a group of all opportunities that has been uh, fit to the criteria we mentioned before. Just uh, like a big bucket when you can throw all your opportunities, all your records inside and to use them or to use to uh, loop over them uh, when you need to. So in this all opportunities variables, which is a S object collection as I mentioned, uh, we have these fields for each uh, record. So for the opportunity A, we have ID, name, country. For opportunity B, we have the same ID, name, country, etc., etc. So after we have this uh, collection, we are starting to loop over this collection. So as you can see, this node is a loop node. It's actually working only with S objects and with the uh, OA with what called collections. So we are going to look for the S object collection we, uh, we found in the previous node. And for each iteration, we are going to take a specific record. This will be op. So when I'm saying op, it's like in the first uh, cycle of the loop, we are going to be in op A. In the second one, we are going to be in op B, and etc. etc. So, for the first iteration of the loop, we are uh, starting with record A. So, record A is going into, into the loop. Okay, this is uh, one record inside all opportunities. So, op A is going to this assignment tool. And now, all these values are being set to this specific record. The country of op or opportunity A, for example, is, is, is being set to Chile. The discount number is now set to 60. Also, I have here a variable, uh, and its value, its uh, initial value is zero. So in each uh, iteration of the loop, it's receiving another one to the value of the total uh, counting. So the first, uh, the first opportunity will have the value 1. And then I said, uh, give the opportunity promo code field the value of counter. So the first opportunity will have the value of 1, the second will have the value of 2, and, and going and going. So after I did this assignment, I want to assign op. Op, as we said, is the variable that we are using to iterate through, um, through all opportunities. So now, after I, I made some changes to op to the specific record, I want to take this uh, record or opportunity and put it in another basket, in another collection, which here is called ops to update. And after I will finish to add all the records I want to this bucket, then and only then I will update the, the, the records uh, of the flow. So, first iteration is done. We're taking up and put, put it in the basket. The second iteration is completed and we, we're taking the second up and put it in the basket and, and so on and on. And after, we're, and after we are finished with the loop, we can see here that we have a fast update node. And actually, this is the, the, the last node that's uh, making all the hard work for us. So, 
Now we have two baskets. One basket is all opportunities that match the initial criteria. The second basket is all the opportunities that we loop through uh, with the, the new uh, values we gave them inside the loop. So all we have left to do is to update uh, this basket, this bucket. So we're going to this uh, node, fast update node. Um, its name is update list because this is actually what it's doing. It's taking the second bucket we have made, ops to update, and uh, update it. So now all the values we have, we have uh, been giving here in the assignment are actually being updated here. So instead of putting a, a record update inside the loop and to update each in each iteration each record, we are doing it only once after the loop has finished. Here in the last screen, I just posted to the screen all the results. So these following uh, opportunities were updated. If you remember, this is, these are the IDs that we have seen before. And the counter, um, the number 46 that uh, has been on the screen before, um, this is the number of the counter. It, mean, it means that the loop has 46 iterations and 46 different records that it's uh, being passed through. If you are familiar with code, I'm sure you can notice here the same concept of falsifying DML operations and to do a several updates within a single update. Instead of updating each record, we're updating a collection of records at once. The best advice I can give you at this point is to start playing with this concept. If you don't have any, code, any of code basics and you're in the Salesforce industry, then you have to start reading information about it. Salesforce coding is extremely fun and can open new doors that you didn't even dream about. Um, another thing, uh, you can take this structure I showed here and start manipulate it to fit your needs. For example, you can launch the flow from a process builder as automated flow, uh, what will make it a lot more like a trigger and will help you to make several updates in a single process builder. I hope I showed you here something that will help you make your org work better and be more maintainable. If you want to share any knowledge, I will be glad to hear from you in the comments below. Salesforce is a great community. I learned a lot from the web and I hope this uh, video will contribute and will help others. Thank you for your time and I wish you happy visual coding with no flows.